Hey guys, welcome to Sled Talk. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I would like to take a second of your time and introduce this season's title sponsor is Bikeman Performance. So they've decided to jump on board and help push the podcast. And if you're unaware, Bikeman is the elite level when it comes to aftermarket performance parts on your sled. So be sure to check out their site, link in the description. And without further ado, let's jump into the show. Let the band play. 100K on the protect, Believe it. living life with no regrets. I can't design her when I get dressed. Hey. Hey. Summertime on winter fresh. fresh. I put her legs behind her head. Oof. Night, night, she gone to bed. Bye bye. Every day it's a new test. Uh. I just keep chasing these checks. Uh. Living life with no regrets. 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 Uh. So let's talk, listeners. Welcome back to the next episode of the show. Um, we have another QA. Uh, Q and A episode. So put some more questions out on Instagram and got some good feedback. I screenshotted a lot of the questions and topics and just sent them over to Jeff. Um, most of them I have not read. Um, there were some I naturally glanced at um, while I took a screenshot and sent over. So um, yeah, let's just jump right. Uh, I think this one did pretty well last time. We're trying to switch it up and do things a little bit differently, but uh, yeah, we're gonna keep rolling with this one so this might actually be a two-part episode um two separate episodes so without further ado jeff welcome back onto the show i know you're thrilled to be here again got your coffee got your smile ready to roll huh yep okay cool well let's just jump right into it um did you start well just i don't know where i should start i don't know start at the first one i sent you i guess um, but be sure, uh, um, because part of this, we want to um, shout out the people that yeah. ask the questions, right? So be sure to shout out their Instagram <coughs> handle. <coughs> this one's from Aiden Murphy, and he asks, what's your guys' biggest passions outside of sledding? That's oh. easy for me. Well, you start then. It's the gym. <laughs> yeah. That's my answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. That's your one and only answer? That's your one and only passion? Yeah. Yeah? Not even filming? <laughs> <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> Not lately. Uh, mine, boy. Um, I don't know, passion. Um, your new passion's taking care of dogs. Versus dude. <laughs> nah. Um, I would say my two things outside of snowmobiling are traveling and just uh running businesses um traveling especially with my fiance um all over the place i've been obsessed with traveling for a really long time um outside of the country all over in the country i like how you're trying to earn brownie points with your answers <laughs> you had to throw in with my fiance i mean i do enjoy traveling with her um for the most part making me look bad <laughs> no <laughs> God. I mean, I certainly travel without her all winter long. So, um, so I try to, I have to make up for that yeah. in the summertime, you know? So yeah, traveling and then just jamming on business, whether it's real estate, the rental company or the sleds and stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I enjoy most outside of snowmobiling. <clears throat> How would you, what do you, what's that guy's name? You think Mond? Toby Mond? Uh, Toby Emon. Oh, I'm fucking, okay. Yeah. We, right. we met him at the Coeur Freshies. Oh, we party. did? Yeah, he's from Alaska and just moved to Coeur d'Alene. Mm, I think he, I remember. He asked the same question on last episode, though. Oh, he did? Yeah, but we can run it again, because maybe you might think of something. T Toby Emond asked, what is the most underrated sled part? Um... I would say a heated brake lever because my finger's always on the brake and it gets cold if it's not heated. Yeah, I don't even know what I would say. <laughs> I don't have enough knowledge. <laughs> I don't have enough knowledge. <laughs> well, what did you say when earlier when you walked away? You said heated bars or something? Yeah. Which is just standard like on every sled. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, hey, I mean, people don't, you know, necessarily you know, you take those away and the, then oh. you're like, hands are freezing the whole time and shit. Yeah, I think it's a good one. I'd be, or a track. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, yeah, for, <laughs> for you since you like to chew branches with your track. <laughs> yeah, I need something more durable. <laughs> <clears throat> Whitney R four asks, "Do you plan on discussing all aspects of riding, trail riding, off trail, clubs, women?" Question mark. Um, yeah, Whitney's actually put in several questions. Um, yeah, she has the next one too. Yeah. We answered a few on the last episode. I mean, yes, I'm down to talk about anything snowmobiling from trail riding, from East coast riding, from iron dog, from, uh, whatever. Um, I'll discuss it all. Uh, we just need to find, we just need to find the people that that's like their lane. That is their Avenue, right? Come on the show. We'll talk about it. I will dissect anything snowmobiling period electric snowmobiles trail riding whatever it, if it has to do with snowmobiling you need to you know come on and talk did, about it i'm more down did you see the video of uh it was some guy saying the one of the coolest features about the the electric sled what is the company's name uh taiga yeah i saw this on a reel he could like crawl up this hill mm-hmm. going like literally one mile per hour <laughs> and people were just roasting him in the comments right. <laughs> talking about how, how it's not really that cool, <laughs> but he's literally just like creeping up the hill and he's like, that's the coolest feature of this sled. <laughs> well, to we need to own. find the clip. <laughs> to each it's own. funny. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I want to hear you talk about, uh, actually, never mind. I was going to say something stupid. <laughs> we won't say that. <laughs> I mean, that usually doesn't stop you ever. <laughs> we won't say that. All right. Her next question is, have you ever ridden in New England? And would you ever? Uh, no, I have not. I have never been um, farther east than Montana <laughs> on a sled. Um, and so, yes, I mean, I absolutely um, would ride over there. Um, I think it'd be cool to go over there for an event or something, or maybe meet up with, uh, the backwoods boys and, uh, or the Northern backcountry team, um, fly over there and jump on a sled and go check it out and do some podcasts. I'd be, that'd be super fun. Dude, if maybe, you're down, maybe we'll run into Tom Brady. Hey dude, maybe, maybe he's moving back there. Maybe, maybe we just need to do it when the giants are playing and then we can go ride and then go catch a game in giant stadium. Huh? That's the sales pitch that right there to get you sick. to go. <laughs> yeah. We'll use merch money for the game. Yeah. <laughs> Buy a sweatshirt. <laughs> okay. That screenshot is literally the same thing. I think. Yep. Well, look, you got to look all the way at the, it might be. It's like, yeah, it's the same okay. one. This one. From Idaho Sledder. Yeah. He sent in several. How, can, how about how can you answer uh, this one nine R or boost? I guess you could answer in the fact of what do you want to get more? Um, my <laughs> my answer to that is uh, both. Yeah, but if you had to pick one, a boost. Um, I so you could hear it make that neat noise. Oh yeah, <laughs> part of it. I mean, I just I don't know. This is a turbo. It's just uh next level it's nothing i've ever experienced like for myself i mean i've jumped on one for a little bit you know um but i've never owned i've never owned a turbo um and yeah i just really 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 want one so that'd be my answer is is a boost um for the type of writing i want to do um i mean both would be great but uh i'd pick a i'd pick a boost um, before you answer or ask the next question, um, maybe glance through, switch up a little bit. Well, I just want to just an, literally this whole page is Idaho sweater. Yeah. Questions. So, I mean, I don't know how you want to try to, we'll, we'll ask, two, we'll ask two, one more from two, him, two separate episodes or whatever. Yeah. We'll um, ask one more from him. Okay. This one is about sled haulers. Ford, mm. GM, or Ram? Half ton versus three quarter ton or one ton? Why? <laughs> <laughs> we could clip this into some more controversy because those perform pretty well. Yeah. Um, to yeah. all my fellow friends and followers and listeners out there, 
uh, absolutely, definitely, in no way, a Dodge or a Ram. Won't did you know? It. Did you know Fiat actually owns Dodge, mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. changed it to Ram. Ram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a Fiat Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't. You'll catch me dead before you catch me behind the wheel of a of a Ram. A Fiat Ram. <laughs> Fiat Ram. Um. Uh, so there's that, um, outside of that, uh, I, uh, I really, 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 really like my GMC. Um, I, I mean, a GMC is just a more bougie version of a Chevy, right? Um, but if you're talking specifically, so I have a three quarter ton, uh, GMC (laughs) AT4. And, uh, if you take that same or similar version of that in the Chevy, Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate the Chevys, the look, um, everything is almost identical except for the front end, the grill and the front of the Chevy looks like absolute trash. <laughs> that sounds really bad because they're nice trucks, but that front end just looks, I just don't like it at all. Um, especially in comparison to the GMC. Um, so, and then I used to have, uh, a Chevy half ton, um, and I put a sled deck on it and both sleds and I just didn't. Uh, it just was not enough truck for me. I mean, there's definitely tons of people that rock half tons and sled decks and the whole thing, and it's all good. But uh, I just didn't like it for for my setup. Um, I wanted a little more heavier duty truck. Um, so yeah, that's what I have right now. Um, the next truck I'll probably do a one ton um, because I would like to get a gooseneck. Um, and that would just be a little bit better for for hauling a trailer. Um, but yeah, that's my, my pick. I, I will say for the Ford guys, I will admit this. The new Fords look pretty. Yeah. Oh my God. I agree. I just don't really care too much for Ford, but those trucks look freaking good. Like silly. it makes me mad when I see them. Cause it's like, Fah. they look so good. <laughs> yeah. But no, I like the way they look too. Yeah. I mean, they're all going to get you from point A to point B, usually. Oh, yeah. But yeah, well, some will say the same about a sled, but I don't know if it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about what about you? Give us your ideal yeah, I drive a sled, sled hauler. <laughs> I know what you drive now. We're going to put a sled deck on top of it. <laughs> If money, whatever, if if all of that was totally irrelevant, what would your dream sled hauler setup be? Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Just want to take a quick second to introduce another one of this year's sponsors. We got RSI. So whether you need handlebars or grips, seat covers, controls, etc., doesn't matter. Use uh, Sledson2023 at checkout for 15% off your next order. I don't know. I like me a lifted dually. Mm. Trying to think of which which company has the better looking dually. I feel like I see are you a, a do- are you a Ram or a Dodge guy at all? I'm not a Fiat guy now. Okay, so that one's out. I mean, it's either Ford or GM. Okay. I don't know. Do I have to pick? Yeah. Probably GM. Okay. Which one, Chevy or GMC? GMC. Well, okay. if you're, why wouldn't you get? The GMC, if you're <laughs> not worried about money. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what, obvious. What color? I don't know. Probably. I like black, but it's, God, it's a pain in the ass to keep clean. So hard to keep clean. I mean, yeah, black. Looks good clean, but. I don't know. I don't know what all colors they offer, obviously. Um, I think GM has a nice blue that I like. Mm-hmm. Would you go with a Denali? Or an AT4? Probably AT4. I don't know. <laughs> Got it. I haven't looked into it, so <laughs> probably AT4. Okay. I'd probably do black, though. Yeah. Just looks the cleanest. Mm. All right. The next question is from our boy Kobe Mac 24 <laughs> responded to your question with, what's been the hardest task to overcome for the Slitson team? Mm. Schedule, consistency, coordination, so on and so forth. 
<laughs> yeah. I yeah, that's a good answer. It's literally what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No one else does this shit every week. Yeah. No. Not for snowmobiling. <clears throat> I well I don't know. For I mean sure. there's guys they're, that go out and ride might. every day and make videos every day and shit like that, but Yeah. There might be one other podcast that's uh, weekly that recently came to my attention, but I don't know. There, it's, it's the one and only other one that might maybe the rest of them are not nowhere near as consistent. Yeah, um, I mean, but if we it's had also like our main, our most main thing too. So we make it a priority. Yeah, I yeah, I would say the logistics with that and logistics of just trying to get you to go ride too. <laughs> Dude, I mean, dude, we didn't. I'm, even, not a, I'm not a seasonal worker, so we didn't even we didn't even get a content day with Kobe this year, with you. He's coming back, isn't he? The end of March, but I'm going to California. Oh, he's coming up here from California. I'm going down there. Well, him and California. I will go right. It's fine. Well, you, perfect. You can miss go. out. Go. You can go to California and do whatever the hell it is you're doing there. Yeah. Huh. This isn't even. This isn't a question. <laughs> it's from Jose. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> well, how do we answer this? I don't know. <laughs> Ethnic it, diversity in the industry. Laughing face <laughs> from from our boy Jose. From our we, boy Jose, we rode with two weekends ago. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. took him to Catherine for the first time. Yeah, that was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I, I more the better. Yeah. For sure. Um, I, it's not, I mean, you don't see it too often, but I think it's great. Um, I mean, the more people that can get exposed to snowmobiling, the better, regardless of what ethnicity. That was um, a good answer. I mean, really, like, I, it doesn't make any difference to me. The more people on a sled, the better. Um, Leave it to Jose. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, I think he said that, he brought that up earlier. Um, and while we're on the topic of him, uh, I got to read this off because I was just, uh, I asked him and AJ if they would uh, want to come ride with us this, on Friday. What'd they say? Um, hold on. I don't know where it's at in my DMs here. Oh, there it is. Um, they, neither of them can go. They got to work. Um, Jose was like, uh, I would, but my boss is. Uh, he just said if he called in, he'd probably need a job because I told him to both just call in sick and let's go. <laughs> um, and then uh, they were like, "Have fun." Uh, AJ was like, "Have fun." At least you guys won't be pulling my dumbass out all day uh, this time. And I was like, "Whatever." Um, and then Jose was like, "Man, I wish I wasn't working. I'll be with you guys in spirit." And I was like, "I'll bring a step sled T-shirt with us to remember you by." <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was <laughs> and then he was like, "No one can take that from me. I popped the step sled T-shirt, Cherry Baby. Come on." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah. man, he's a good dude. Yeah, he's fun. Fun to be around. Oh man, both him and AJ. All right. Oh, okay, that was a good one. Next question from our boy Austin at Albany Lodge. Mm. Ride the range 307. This is at. If money wasn't a factor, how would you build a mod sled? <sighs> I'm not going to answer this. <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> um, Just give me a boost. That's, that's all I, yeah, I right. mean, I'm good there. Uh, that's a good. That's a good question. So I will. Hmm, I'll answer it without actually answering it. Um, so this could be like a I, 30 minute answer. <laughs> so I, uh, and don't say anything about your boy, but I, um, this season I am going to be working with a custom fabricator. Uh, I say this season as in like, uh, this upcoming so next season, if you will, I guess this fall, um, if everything moves forward with getting a boost and a nine R, um, I have, I have some plans for some very specific, um, types of modifications. I'll say this, not, not any, any, like, um, any new, never before seen type of <laughs> modification. Um, 
I plan on doing the regular types of, of mods, so not like a new groundbreaking piece or something, um, but it's more out of like what the mods and accessories are made out of. Um, and then I'll, f I'll end it with this. I, in all of my years and all of my time on social media, um, what I have in my mind that I'm going to try to bring to reality with these parts, I have never, ever seen before. Um, it's a very bold statement, but I have yet to see anything that contradicts that statement. <clears throat> um, so I'm pretty excited for it. So, uh, and with that being said, those parts and pieces are <laughs> rather, uh, rather expensive i'll say that next question <laughs> how do you say this guy's name that might can be you not read why are you gonna keep asking me that uh how do you boy. pronounce it i would say james you're talking uh, shit cootier <laughs> we probably slaughtered it honestly yeah cootier Yeah, we'll go with James underscore Coutier. He said, would you ride the East Coast? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I would. Sure, it'd be fun. We just, logistically, it's... I mean, yeah, we're in Oregon, so we got to fly all the way across the country, which, I mean, I'm not opposed to doing because one day I would like to hit uh, Sweden, Russia, mm -hmm. Japan, um oh boy so <laughs> russia yeah i mean Fuck maybe that place yeah, maybe maybe not right now we might not come back yeah, i mean hey i guess we could be like the nook boys and just go hang out with hasbula and we could get away and scot-free and be able to return huh yeah um i still wouldn't go i don't think <laughs> yeah i don't know it's too much weird shit going on right yeah. now yeah right now is an odd time to try and pull that off for sure um, but yes, to answer your question, James, I totally 100% would go to the East Coast. We just got to tee it up and do it. What's uh, what's the time frame? Do we need to, <clears throat> how many more you got left? Should we break off and begin a second one or? Because we're just at about 20 minutes right now. Um, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got a variety of questions, so we're going to break this into a two piece. Um, so we'll end this episode. Uh, if you guys like this style, um, let me know in the comments, regardless of what platform or reach out to me directly. Um, cause I sure enjoy doing this. It would be fun to, um, it'd be fun to, I don't know, rotate some different guests in and kind of do the same style questions back and forth to each other. Um, I obviously don't want to spend my entire time talking because <laughs> it's not about me. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this, let us know. Um, we will, um, boy, do you have a question? I was just trying to think of a sled talk question to, to end this. Um, you have one, um, that you can think of quicker than me. I mean, I have one. Yeah. Yeah. Go for How it. How come you don't have one? I literally just thought of one just right now. Well, Run with it then. If if we were to upload video to Spotify, would you guys watch the podcast on Spotify? Mm. So that's my question. That's a great question because actually more people listen to the podcast on Spotify than any other platform. Yeah. Does it matter if we up? Would anyone care if we uploaded the video? Like, would it? You know, would would it make more people watch it on there? Or are they usually driving, so they're just listening to it, right? Mm -hmm. So perfect. That's Let just us. more incentive for you to. Get an anchor account so we can <laughs> upload the video. So yeah, yeah. To Spotify, yeah. please let us know because uh, you know we want to try to do things for you guys and for your listening and viewing pleasure. So let us know. You uh, have to ask one too. Oh, uh, what? You have to ask one. Just think of something. It's not that hard. Oh man, I'm pretty brain dead. I didn't have I, enough coffee this morning. I had two cups. Still not enough. I've had almost. Had almost all of that. I had a normal cup, and then I've had my pre workout already. Oh, jeez! <laughs> um, so I'll crash in like three hours. Perfect. Uh, I'll ask this: um, Do you guys have 
a specific um, riding season diet that you follow? Um, Beef. Well, because the reason why I'm asking that is just because it's like uh, today is day four for me of carnivore diet. Um, and uh, I, I won't go into reasons or whatever for it, why I'm doing that, but it just made me think if you guys have like a specific diet that you guys try to follow, whether it's year round or whatever, or if you change your guys' diet specifically for for sledding um, throughout the season, and if so, let me know because I always am open to new ideas and new thoughts and new meals or what have you. So let us know in the comments below. And uh, we'll wrap this episode up and catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it for you guys tuning in. Thank you. Honey <laughs> 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 came on the protect, believe Living life with no regrets. I can't designer when I get dressed. Hey, hey. Summertime on winter fresh. fresh. I put a leg behind her head. No. Night, night, she gone to bed. Bye bye. Every day it's a new test. Oh. I just keep chasing these chicks. Oh. Living life with no regrets.